who's most likely to write a mean song about someone else in the group? Three, two, one. <laughs> Illinois' own very uh, Avenue B. How are you guys? Hello. We are doing good. How are you hey, doing? But you guys aren't in Quincy right now. Where are you right now? In Nashville? We're in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. On my How couch. <laughs> On, who's, uh, do you, you guys all live in the same place, right? We all live by ourselves, but we come to Savannah's every day. Every single day. Every single day. Why is Savannah's the place to go to? Because I'm the only one with Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's expensive! I don't want to get the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I have unlimited data and it's expensive. I'm sorry. Be, be honest. Uh, are any of you stealing your neighbor's Wi-Fi? <laughs> leaving a note on my neighbor's door like hey send me your venmo let me have your password and we can just share the wi-fi it could go. work maybe i should do that there I you feel go like i should meet them first though yeah. are you i was, I was just gonna weird. ask i see i'm not a neighbor's person like right like i've yeah. never known any of my neighbors in any apartment that i've ever lived in me so, either are, are you guys yeah so it, it's it's weird i think someone that lives that close to you that knows that much about you little weird right too much, too much, they start hearing too much. noises i i try i try to say like a, I, I try to do like a, a hey or if they have a dog we'll we'll stop and have a chat i'll pet the dog but i've met my neighbor's dog i know my neighbor's dog's names i don't know my neighbor's names you're, you're thinking of buttercup right now aren't you i'm absolutely thinking of buttercup buttercup's a the good key, dog the key yeah. is headphones so you have an option whether they have that conversation uh, or not, right? AirPods. Yeah. And yeah. headphones, resting, resting biatch face. Yes. Yeah. The, it's, or can we just call it the F2020 face? Is that a thing? Can we call it that? <laughs> I like that. Oh, wow. see? Look what I did there. Here we go. Wow, do you do this for a living or something? That's fun. Hey, I mean, you guys well see that thing on. Hey, how did that? How did that originally get on TikTok? Because there's so many companies that uh, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of money being put in marketing behind the TikTok stuff. Did, yeah. did you? I know it wasn't even finished, right? Is that what I heard? Then you put it yeah. on. We literally just threw it up because we were like, this has no place to live except here, and it's gonna get like six thousand views, but it's whatever. Why, but then, why did you feel like yeah. it had no place to live? What did it, What does that mean? Because. We said the F word like a million times uh, and no one yeah. on our team would Also, know. yeah, radio and swear words like water and oil, they just do not mix. <laughs> oh, I, I get it. You know what's fun though? I mean, you guys have such different sounds too and it's really interesting to me because I'm, a, I'm a, definitely a huge believer in genre, the lines being very blurred and it's really hard yeah. to put people in a box. Uh, like even radio, I do, I do country shows, I do uh, top 40 shows and people always try to put you in a box of those things and it doesn't mm -hmm. make sense because the con that's not how people are anymore right and that's yeah. but there's a yeah. lot of old school thinking so when it comes to you guys if somebody says to you what are you what what box or what category of music would i put you in how do you define that now i guess for us yeah. now it's kind of just like whatever the song calls for when we write a song whatever the song is supposed to be is whatever yeah. we would be that day. Yeah. Because we have so many influences from yeah, being we, in Nashville. We always just want to write the best song possible. And yeah, yeah. sometimes it's like singer songwriter vibes, and sometimes it's like pull out pop songs. It's just right. like whatever we're feeling. Do we you, go with the flow. Do you think about that while the song's being written or do you wait till afterwards and you go, okay, this kind of fits more in this place? It, how does that thought process happen? I've never written a song, a real song at least. <laughs> we do. We, we do not think about it. We do yeah. not think. <laughs> we don't think, period, at all. Yeah. No I thought. think the song just kind of becomes what it's supposed to be, and it just, like, shows itself as you're writing it. We're, we're on our hippie stuff. Right Are now. you? <laughs> so, okay, because you guys have a lot, I mean, so it started, you guys started with the country talking about you for a lot because you have a lot of things that sound very country, like uh, the ruin that for me, right? You ain't gonna ruin that for oh. me. I love the soundboard that you got. Wow. That's great. Wow. You know, when you work from home, you got to make it work, you know? There you go. And then there's, uh, and then I like the light also. And that has a very... so long ago. Little baby, Avenue B. Avenue B. 
you know, it's a, that has such like a Kane Brown kind of vibe, right? So it has this could be pop, could be yeah. country, who's going to accept it more situation. But then you have stuff yeah. that completely the other way, like, uh, I don't really like your boyfriend. I don't really like your boyfriend, and I don't want to be annoying, but I don't see what you can see. Also, who's that about? Our friend, <laughs> she broke up with him. Oh, so, no. mission accomplished. Yep. Do you we said it to her and she broke it off. Do you, really? Do you think the song did it? It, it helped. It was like, it was she's all, all yeah. like, more like, she's, she's a big girl. She, she made her own decisions, but it was probably just like a little drop in the bucket. You it know? got really public really fast. <laughs> do you, when you guys are writing songs, do you think that if you, if you're writing a song about somebody, maybe it's an ex-boyfriend, maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your best friend. Do you think you have to consider whether they want that out there or not? Or is it your story to tell? Oh, good. Cool. That's a very good question. Um, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, part of me, the little, the little part of me that's like chaos brain is like, let them hear it no matter like, you know, like, let me blow up their spot. Let me, uh, yeah. but like also nobody, nobody has to lose. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, prove it. You can't. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> What if, what if they did? Because, you know, I have this conversation a lot, too, especially with some of my uh, people I used to work with and our shows. If we're going to have, we talk about our lives all the time, right? So people yeah. know, know about the argument I had with my fiance or my, you know, mom or yeah. whatever the case may be. And there are people that some people are like, hey, uh, that was our business. I'm like, well, that was kind of my story to tell. So, you know, put yeah. it out there. And I, we had this conversation actually with yeah. uh, Kelsey Ballerini was one of the people. And she was talking about writing these songs. And she was very much like, well, the ex-boyfriend knows what he did, so... <laughs> and he put true. it on there. That's true. true. It's, like, it's like you're just mad that people now know that you're crowned, you know? <laughs> that's, that's fair. So, yeah, so it's a, it becomes another one of those lines where, I don't know, if you think about that stuff when you're writing a song, because um, I did hear, I forgot who said it, somebody in another interview because uh, I did my research, uh, <laughs> said something about um, I, you were, I think you were freestyling stuff, but it came out too personal. And so you didn't, you do, couldn't decide if you were going to put it yeah. out or, or not. Like it, it sometimes, what I like to do is just get up on the mic and start singing stuff. And sometimes it works out like F2020. And then sometimes it just gets too real and then it's like too specific. And you're just like, no one that, will relate. And also it's a bad idea to put that out. <laughs> so you think it's not, it won't be relatable because it was too personal or because it but would then, start, or because it would start drama. Because then there's other songs where it's like, because it's personal, it's relatable right. to everyone. Mm -hmm. So I don't, music is weird. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what the vibe I like, uh, seem to get from you guys too, is you're kind of like, I go with what I feel. It, I don't have these guidelines, right? It seems like yeah. that you guys, no. are, some of these questions, like, I don't know how to answer that because it depends on the day. Like the, the vibe <laughs> yeah. of the song yeah. depends on the day. That's super cool. I love that. What do you guys, uh, so when you're, you guys are writing more stuff, you got more stuff coming or what? We have so yes. many songs that we want to put out. We're figuring all of that, that stuff out right now, but we're excited. Yeah. New music yeah. soon, hopefully. Yeah. Well, you guys were supposed to hit tour with what, with, or you, did you start the tour with Mason Ramsey or you guys were supposed to? I know it's a sore subject, right? We did. We, we did tour with Mason. We finished that one. Aww. Yeah. Um, like, I'm a second. But yeah, this, this year we were supposed to um, uh, open for Rascal Flats, which is, Ah, like right. Ugh, why? Why? Yeah, that's a hard. That's a hard place to like, be. Like kind of cool to brag on. Right, because uh, well, yeah. the, uh, not only the flats, you know, obviously everybody's tour, but then also there were people hitting their strides over the Dan and Shays who were doing their first arena oh. tour, and it does sometimes oh, it feels like no. it, right. It's a hard. It feels like it sets you back, but then could also be a blessing in disguise. Do you guys feel yeah. like? that maybe it was a blessing. Maybe you got to write more songs. Maybe you got to put out this F 2020 that gave you probably even maybe more exposure than you thought. You... What are the good parts of 2020? Let's oh, do yeah, a thank you. Literally, F 2020 would have not been. Thank yeah. you, 2020. Yeah, really? and F 2020 would have not been written. None of this would have been possible at all. I mean, we probably would have still been trying to release songs on TikTok, but like, we, we, we needed, we just needed something to get really, really mad about that everybody else was really, really mad about. <laughs> Right. Okay. What's one thing that happened because of COVID that is a good thing? Let's one per one thing from each person do a thank you 2020. 
whether it's okay, like okay. got to binge watch my Netflix, whatever it is. Maybe <laughs> I found, found a new Cheeto flavor I like, whatever. It could be anything. Okay, here's mine. Thank you, 2020, for being bad so that we wrote F2020 so that Will Smith saw <laughs> F2020. <laughs> Shout out Willard. <laughs> Willard. Wait, we're going back to that. Go ahead. <laughs> um, um, I adopted a dog. So That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, 2020. Thank you, 2020. Um, I, mm, you adopted a cat. I did adopt a cat. I just, there you yep, go. I lost, I lost my little, my little dude Gumbo, as expressed in the Aww. song. And I, like three days ago, got a new cat named Pigeon. Oh. Okay, you named your cat Pigeon. You know, that's my, my son, he's 10. He likes to do that too. He named his fish Penguin. It was really confusing for everybody. That's adorable. <laughs> that's so cute. That's, I think that's the key to have fun as a parent. You got to let your kids name the pets. So down the road, whenever you got. <laughs> so everybody, you... Wants to, everybody wants to have a dog that like three years later, everyone's like, why'd you name the dog G.I. Joe? And the kid's just like. <laughs> I also I like, like human, human name for pets, like Bill. Just call your dog. Bill, Bill, get over here. Bill, Kevin. get off the fridge. Bill, get, get over here, Kevin. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> anybody um, that has you guys been connected through over the internet uh, via TikTok, whatever case may be, the Will Smiths. I saw you guys have, throw out the Charlie Puth stuff. Have you been contacted by any of those people? Yes. Yes. We, we talk in the DMs. Mm. A, little, a, little, a little chit chat. Oh, no. chit chat. <laughs> Come on, who, who are you chit-chatting with? We, Give we it. don't like to DM and tell. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself so much. Oh, God. There are going to be multiple Who's people that? that are like, wait, we're, we're, we're DMing. What are you, who else are you DMing with? Okay, so there's cool stuff coming? Yes. All right, I expect a DM about it eventually. Oh, my God. Pinky promise. We'll do All right, anyway. pinky promise. That's it. All right, before we uh, finish up here, I, wanna, I just want to have some fun with you guys. Since you guys are so close and have known each other for so long, let's play a little uh, uh, Know Your Bandmate, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a scenario. And on the uh, count of three, on the count of three, you just point to whoever it most applies to between the three of you. Oh, okay? I love this. All right. Okay. Deal. First, we'll start here. Who's the funniest person in the group? One, two, three. Got it. That was easy. <laughs> Who is most likely to blame their personality on their zodiac sign? One, two, three. <laughs> Taurus. Who's most likely yeah. to get? You say, to, you say such a Taurus thing. Who's most likely to get married first? Oh. Three, two, one, go. You it's either for say that, but it will be you. It's not gonna, it's either, be, it's gonna be you. It's either her want to do it or your guys severe no. not want to do it. All right, let's do this one. <laughs> Poor Kate Alastos. Who's most likely to write a mean song about someone else in the group? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Who's the who's the person? Sin, you're most likely to call you get thrown in jail three two one you call it yourself that's weird <laughs> oh, oh 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 i thought it was who, who would end up in jail, jail. Thrown in jail. No, no, no. who would i call to I'm, get to, to bail yeah your you first out. phone call to bail you out yeah. oh definitely not yeah call smith absolutely not yeah. <laughs> uh, this is true but, yeah that makes sense that makes sense did this happen no, no, oh, okay. no, 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 no. I was like, I'm going to jump all over that one. Don't worry. All right. Um, <laughs> two more. Uh, who's most likely to leave the group for a solo career first? <laughs> um, a solo career in like being a hermit in the oh, woods? Probably. And, and running away. If that's a career. Right? Just quitting, period. <laughs> From fear. Just so disappear into the woods. Yeah. You'll find me like five years later married to Bigfoot, you know. Yeah. And finally, who's the worst secret keeper in the group? Three, two, one. Got it. <laughs> love it. I love it. All right, you guys. That, that was fun. I hope you guys have a ton that of good I'm really, I'm really excited to see what you do and what, what uh, different sounds come out of this next album because it feels like it's going to be all over the place. People are going to have a hard place putting you in, a uh, hard time putting you in a box, and that's going to work towards your advantage, and I hope it does. So 
It was they fun chat. Thank you. Got it. Peace 2020, right? Peace 2020, please.